Hi friends, I am Karthik Ravindra Kate and this is class on Pinolin. And this is my tutorial that is Kate tutorial. If you are not the member of this tutorial, please be the member by subscribing to my channel. So, in this class, we shall directly discuss about its structure, about Pinolin. See, Pinolin, the structure of Pinolin is like this. See, here count the number of pi electrons. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, it has got 10 pi electrons. 10 pi electrons. And also see, all carbons are sp2 hybridized and this nitrogen is also sp2 hybridized. So, those will be in trigonal planar structure. Because of they are in trigonal planar structure, they will be in a single plane. So, the next one is they are in plane. They are in single plane. And also they have got 10 pi electrons according to Huckel's rule. So, they have satisfied aromaticity and all are in single plane and all are a sp2 hybridized. So, the compound is aromatic. Since the compound is aromatic, it is highly stable because of which we, we are going to study. Because it is existing, because of stability it exists, so we are studying. See, this is about its aromaticity and structure. And we should discuss about its basicity. Before moving there, see, this, this lone, lone pair of electrons, the, the lone pair of electrons present on nitrogen are present in sp2 hybridized. These are not present in unhybridized pure orbital. Because of this, these are out of the ring. They are not involved in the resonance because to involve in resonance, they have 10 pi electrons. So, no need of these two electrons. So, these electrons are out, out, out from the ring. They are not involved in the aromaticity or in the resonance because of which it is basic in nature. So, what happens here? See, if this is my phenolin, let me draw like this. This is my phenolin. Because of this lone pair of electrons on nitrogen, I can draw phenolin like this or like this, no problem. If I treat it with HCl, HCl is acid, good acid, we know that. So, what happens here is, I am going to get the compound like this. The same structure, because of lone pair of electron, it, it is going to donate to hydrogen. So, it becomes like this, HCl like here to this nitrogen and then Cl minus. Nitrogen gets positive charge and then chlorine gets negative charge. So it is the compound what we get and this is the intermediate which we get and then consider this CH3I with I iodide and I have told you in previous class that see this methyl iodide, this iodide is electronegative, so it takes the electron density towards itself. So the methyl gets positive charge and iodine gets negative charge because since it is electronegative atom, it takes the electron density towards itself. If we consider organometallic compounds like C, C4, H9, lithium. This is organic compound and lithium is metallic. These are called organometallic compounds. The beauty of organometallic compounds is that here the organic compound that is carbon gets negative charge whereas lithium gets positive charge. Whereas in compounds like this CH3I, here the carbon that is organic part gets positive charge. Whereas here it gets negative charge. According to our requirement, we use the intermediates. Whether we want electrophile or nucleophile, we use this intermediate. So we should have the idea which one we should take, which one we should not take. Here I am going to discussing about the basicity of this nitrogen. So I am going to consider this one. Because of which this CH3 plus is going to attack this nitrogen. So nitrogen gets positive charge as I have shown here. And this is the structure of pinolin. Because of which CH3 gets positive charge, the nitrogen gets positive charge, and this iodine remains here as I minus. 
total it will be neutral and here also this is neutral and this is neutral total it is neutral and here also the product is totally neutral so this is conservation of charge and this is basicity of nitrogen the question will be the lone pair of electrons of nitrogen present in which orbital it is present in sp2 hybridized orbital these are not present in unhybridized p orbital whereas in pyro pyro the structure of pyro is like this here we see that these lone pair of electrons are present in unhybridized p orbital of nitrogen whereas these lone pair of electron are present in hybridized that is sp2 hybridized orbital of nitrogen this is the difference in exam they may ask anything so you should be ready to answer the question it is about its basicity and i have explained the structure it will be planar all are sp2 hybridized and uh, it is planar and it satisfies buckel's rule that is 4n plus 2 rule that is total it has got 10 electrons this is about its structure and basicity let us discuss one more thing that is resonance see if i write the quinoly structure like this here i have written in this way see see it clearly if i shift the bond here double bond here single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond single bond double bond then also single bond yes then also no problem because all are in conjugation i may write this way or i may write this way both are same structure because all are in conjugation and it totally it has got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 by electron. So this structure is also same, this structure is also same. Otherwise, I can also write structure like this. See, this is this is benzene ring and here. And I may write structure here. See, double bond here, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond. Totally 10 electrons, 10 by electrons and all are in conjugation. So this is also a structure. So I may write like this or like this or like this. All are equivalent. So, so in generally what we show is at last class, not last class, few minutes before only I showed you like this. I meant simple two rooms. Nothing but all are equivalent. And next, we should discuss its resonating structure. What is the resonating structure of this phenolic? So here, the nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. So S character is more, 33%, and it is more electron negative. So this electron density shifts towards this nitrogen. So this carbon gets positive charge. So to avoid that, it will shift here and this carbon gets positive charge. So my next canonical structure will be like this. This is my benzene ring and here also uranium ring. It has got a negative charge because it has taken and this carbon got positive charge and double bond is shifted here. Double bond, double bond and double bond. This is my next canonical structure. Here you can see initially the compound was neutral. Now also it is neutral. Plus and minus the next charge is neutral. So the whole molecule is neutral. The next canonical structure will be like this. See, this is benzene ring and this is pyridine ring. You know in nothing but benzene and pyridine. This pi electrons is going to shift here and this gets positive charge. Isn't it? So what happens? This got positive charge, double bond here, double bond here, double bond, double bond and negative charge the nitrogen and lone pair of electron remains outside the ring. Then this bond will shift here and my next kinetic structure will be like this. Isn't it? So same way what we get here is the positive charge, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, negative charge and double bond is here. And then this bond is going to set here. My next chemical structure is like this. It will be bending ring. And here we got positive charge. Negative charge is here. Double bond is here. So positive, negative. This negative bond set is here to form pi bond. So my final structure will be like this. 
when I want to double bond, see when I want to double bond, and here that is this one. See, this is my quinoline. This is the resonating structure of quinoline. Please, once you look at it, note down it on your book and share with your friends so that let them also study and let them get marks in exams. So this is about structure, regenerating structure and basicity of quinoline. In next class we shall see its some reactions and we shall prepare this quinoline now in our classroom. Thank you.